problem number 15. 15. And we have two triangles. So let's see, we have one triangle here, one triangle like this. We have another triangle that looks fairly similar. I don't know if they actually are similar. I haven't read the problem yet. But at least in the drawing, they've drawn them to look fairly similar. And then they tell us that, so this is triangle A, B, C. This is triangle D, E, F, D, E, F. And we know that this is 8, this is 5, this is x degrees, this is also x degrees, this is 5. And then they tell us that this is y degrees and that this is y degrees. Now let's read the problem. If y if y is equal to 60 in triangle DEF above, how much greater is the perimeter of ABC than the perimeter of DEF? So y is equal to 60, right? So y is equal to 60 y is equal to 60. So what is this angle up here? Well, if we know these are these two are are the the base angles. Well, <laughs> actually we 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 know 60 60, so what's the this top angle going to be? Well, this is an equilateral triangle, right? This also has to be equal to 60. My main brain's not malfunctioning. So this is if all the angles are same, then all the sides are the same as well, right? So it's 5 and 5. That's an equilateral triangle. And then the perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. This problem, we, know these, we don't know the x angles, but we know that they're equal. So if, they're, if these two base angles are equal, we know from geometry class that their course, the, the sides are also equal. So if this side is 8, this side is also 8. So the perimeter here is what? 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 5 is 21. And they want to know. How much greater is the perimeter of this triangle than this triangle? So 21 minus 15 is 6. And that is choice C. Next problem. All right, yeah, choice C. Problem number 16. If x and y are positive consecutive odd integers, positive consecutive odd integers, where y is greater than x, positive consecutive odd integers, which of the following is equal to y squared minus x squared? So x and y are positive consecutive odd integers. And y is greater than x. So that means that y is equal to x plus what? It's equal to x plus 2. If they were consecutive, just integers, then y would be equal to x plus 1. It would be 1 more than x. But since we know that they're both odd, and y is the next larger odd number, the distance between any two odd numbers is 2. So x is going to be 2 more, and y is going to be 2 more than x. right? If x is 5, then y is 7. right? Consecutive odd integers. If x is 3, y is 5. Consecutive odd integers. y is 2 more than x. So we know y is equal to x plus 2. And so they want us to kind of rewrite this expression. Well, we, we know from algebra class we can factor this as y plus x times y minus x, right? And then what is what is y plus x? Actually, we don't even have to do this. We don't even have to factor it. We know what y is equal to, right? y is equal to x plus 2. So that is equal to x plus 2 squared minus x squared. And this is equal to, if we just multiply it out, x squared plus 4x plus 4. That's this term. And then now we minus x squared. So this cancels out with this, and we're left with 4x plus 4, which is choice E. Whenever I see something like this, my first temptation is to factor it out. And I think that's what they, and you could have done it, and then you could have substituted it back in, but you didn't even have to do that. Image, clear image, invert colors. It's actually 6.30 in the morning after Thanksgiving. you got to appreciate my discipline. All right, problem number number 17. My wife's actually a medical resident, and she had to work 36 hours yesterday 
and then she came home, essentially passed out, missed Thanksgiving, everything, and then she just went to work again, and she has like a 12-hour shift. It's crazy. She only has a year left, and I, I look forward to that. But there might be fewer math videos once I have my wife back. But anyway, back to math. Problem number 17. In the xy plane, line L passes through the origin and is perpendicular to the line 4. So L is perpendicular to the line 4x plus y is equal to k. And L passes through the origin, so through origin, through 0, 0. That's the origin, right? Where k is a constant, if the two lines intersect at the point t, t plus 1, what is the value of t? So first of all, we know this line is perpendicular to this line. So what does perpendicular tell us? Perpendicular says whatever the slope is of this line, the perpendicular of this line, sorry, whatever the slope is of this line, the slope of this line would be the negative inverse. So let's figure out what the slope of this line is. So we know that 4x plus y is equal to k. So y is equal to minus 4x plus k. Now this is kind of the familiar, you know, y equals mx plus b uh, format, right? So the slope of this line is minus 4. Slope equals minus 4. So the slope of this line is minus 4. So what is the slope of L? Slope of L equals, well, L is perpendicular to this line. It's perpendicular to this line. So we know that L is going to have the negative inverse of this slope. So the negative inverse of minus 4 is, well, we, it'll become positive, and you take the inverse. The slope of L is 1 fourth. And we also know that L goes through uh, the origin. So it, it's, its y-intercept is 0, right? So we know the equation of L, right? We know that we know that the equation of L is y is equal to one fourth x, and we know there's no plus b because it goes at through zero zero, right? And you could even, I mean, if you didn't believe me, you can put zero zero in here and then solve for b. You'll get zero equals zero plus b, so b is zero. But anyway, so this is L. We solved for the equation for L, and now they tell us they tell us that we intersect. Where, where's the problem? I lost track of the page. Oh, we intersect at the point t, t plus 1. And they want to figure out what t is. So when x is t, y is t plus 1. So let's see. When x is, so y is t plus 1. So t plus 1 is equal to 1 fourth. And then x is t, right? x is t. I just substituted t and t plus 1 for x and y. And now we just solve. Let's see. If we subtract 1 fourth t from both sides, let me do finish this problem up here. Up here. We subtract 1 fourth t from both sides, we get 3 fourths t plus 1 is equal to 0, right? I just subtracted 1 fourth t from this 1t, so you get 3 fourths t. And subtract 1 from both sides, you get 3 fourths t is equal to minus 1. And then you just multiply both sides times the inverse, 4 thirds, 4 thirds. So t, this cancels out, of course. t is equal to minus 4 over 3. And what is my choice there? Oh, there I go. Choice number a. I got scared. I looked at the wrong problem. I didn't see my choice. Maybe I did it wrong. Choice number a. And I will do problem 18 in the next video. I'll